actually go in and look at uh, what your interest rate is, what was your, when, would you, when was your last payment, what your balance is, things of that nature, stay away. Just stay away from that card. I don't care who it is. I don't care who recommended it to you. Do not use, utilize that card. I don't care what how bad of a light you are in. When it comes to your credit, contact me. We'll help you with something else, all right? Um, here's something else. Uh, if there's no room for improvement. If there's no room for for improvement, especially if you're getting a secure card, um, with secure cards, oftentimes they'll increase your credit limits and regular cards as well. Regular cards, they'll just arbitrarily increase your credit limits. And it's a reward. It's a reward for you being a good customer. And sometimes it's just an enticement, kind of like a sale. It's just like an, an enticement uh, for you to spend more money um because they're showing you hey we got love for you and you come on in and spend some of this money and use our credit card um secure cards will eventually some of them will eventually increase your limits over the amount that you put down to secure the card itself so that's something good for you so that's an improvement you want to be looking for something like that or that benefit when you start reading it before you go ahead and apply for it or if that card can be converted from a unsecured card to a traditional to a, from a secured card sorry to a traditional or unsecured card so if that card can be converted you keep the same account number meaning you keep your payment history and all of that stuff and it could be converted to a traditional credit card that's something that you want to look for that's room for improvement um all of these things are improvements and rewards for doing a good job for doing what you need what you need to do and some of the cars they you know they give you your money back so if you do a good job eventually they give you your money back that's the kind of secure card that you're looking for those are the ones that you're actually looking for um the ones that will eventually give your money back and convert it to you know uh, um, a traditional credit card unsecured credit card so where do you find these good cards where do you find these things google <laughs> all you got to do is google now it's oftentimes i don't suggest googling things because you can find yourself in a bad light but you can google this stuff i mean you can ask and, and there's a ton of websites out there um if you're signed up with the places i always mention credit sesame credit karma my fico credit.com um they have great articles um that'll tell you you know um where you can go to find these things the credit karmas of the world the my ficos the credit sesames they give you suggestions right there on their website of a card hey here is a card that we think you should get i have yet to run into one card on those places and i've done this research with them um i have yet to run into one card offered by them or recommended by them that is a bad bad card for you on these places on these particular websites so you can always you know take their recommendation still you need to read the fine print in itself and uh if they give you three options make sure you just read all three open them up compare them read all three and see what's up because they're all um not created equal on their websites either so make sure you open them up um some some places um have a student card and you're not even a student but they say you can get um this student card open it up don't discount it all open it up see what they say about annual fees and all the stuff that we just talked about today um so again push come to shove what you can do you can contact me push come to shove you've got questions you want to see what you should do about this contact me 800 at credit score you can always do that so, all right so look let me do these birthday shouts right quick um sharon haney celebrated her birthday this week happy birthday sharon uh, Sean dies. He celebrated a birthday. Sean, um, actually right before this pandemic happened, opened, uh, the Caribbean jerk joint in Chicago, Illinois, 1400 East 47th. You guys go by there and show, um, the local restaurant some love. That's the Caribbean jerk joint, 1400 East 47th. Sean dies is the owner operator there. They're open. They're open. You can come by there and get your hands free, uh, contactless, uh, jerk chicken and whatnot go by there and check them out randy taylor happy birthday to you randy that's my cousin you guys 
Um, Tammy Briggs, she celebrates her birthday this coming up Monday. So happy birthday to you, Tammy, a beautiful lady of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And Janelle Douglas, this Wednesday coming up, will be celebrating her birthday. That's also my little cuz, even though she's not so little no more. Neither is Randy. So either I'm getting old or they getting old. But something's happening. So happy birthday to you, Janelle Douglas. Look, you guys come back again. Come back next week. Contact me. Like I said, I know you got questions. I'll be confusing you people sometime and all that stuff when I'm talking. So contact me. You got questions? Contact me. Please do not hesitate to do so. You can text that number too. What's that number? 312-600-5855. You can send me a text message. I will reply back to you or send an email, especially if you're long-winded. You're long-winded. Send me an email, you guys, so I can read the whole thing and uh, wrap my mind around answering your questions for you. You know how I got to do before I get out of here. Kobe, Cameron, and Carter. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out.